Hello everyone, I'm back again with another Halo Reach VR video because we're making some real progress on the 3D front in uh, applying this game to Vorpex. Now I got a comment on a YouTube video today um, from a gentleman called Alien Pickle and Alien Pickle pointed out that you can get this game to run in 3D really easily if you use the Alien Isolation profile. Now I tinkered around for a while and I couldn't get it to work and then I had a bit of a light bulb moment and realized what I was doing wrong. Now I will put directions and instructions how to do it down in the comments but effectively this is all to do with the Game Pass version of the game by the way. If you've bought Halo Reach or Halo Master Chief Collection on Steam, you shouldn't have this problem because you can find the EXE file. If you've got it, however, through um, Game Pass or the Windows Store, those files are locked away in a folder that you can't access, which is really annoying. Um, but you can bypass that by creating a text file, naming the text file, whatever the EXE or launcher file is actually called, and then attaching that text file to a profile in Vorpex. Now, Vorpex is smart enough to do the work and know that when you open the actual file, it will attached to that because the name of the text file is the same as the name of the exe file you're launching sounds convoluted but i promise it is quite simple now the mistake i was making was i was creating a text file in using notepad and i was calling it the same as the exe file for the game but notepad adds .txt to the end of those files to avoid that you need to put the file name in quotation marks again i'll put it all down in the comments below and i'll explain how that's done but effectively now you can attach Unreal Engine 4 profiles to Halo Reach and get some degree of 3D rendering. I'll show you what kind of degree right now. Obviously you won't be able to see it. I will because I've got the headset on. Right, so I'm in the game now and obviously you can't see my Vorpex menu. I really do need to find a setup that will capture the Vorpex menu so I can show you guys um, what I'm seeing. Effectively now I have the option to have all different styles of 3D. Let me just turn myself into full screen mode. I'm still in edge peak. There we go. So you can now, if you attach Halo Reach to a Unreal Engine 4 profile, right now I've got it running on Canarium. Canarium is my go-to profile. It works for our worlds and it's working quite well here. I did try Alien Isolation, but I haven't tried it since um, I uh, figured out the, the, the text file issue. Now, when you attach an Unreal Engine 4 profile to Halo Reach and you've done the correct method of attaching the text profile, if you're using the Windows Store version, you'll get all three um, versions of 3D reconstruction. So for me at the moment, Z Normal looks a little bit fucky, um, for, for lack of a better word. Doesn't look right at all. Z Adaptive might actually be my favorite. Um, Z Adaptive is giving me a great sense of depth. Um, and a great sense of scale. Now, geometry, I can't tell a huge difference between the geometry and having no 3D at all, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, I don't know if that's just me. Again, I did say in my previous Halo video, I'm, I'm not hugely fussed by the level of 3D that I get with Vorpex, as long as the game runs well and is, and, and is immersive enough. But, for me right now, Z Adaptive hmm, seems to be the nicest 3D portrayal of this game at this moment in time. Yeah, I, I think Z, Z Adaptive for me currently is the best way to play this in a kind of a 3D scape. The mountains and stuff now have depth and I can tell how far away they are. Um, stuff like the barrel of my gun looks really, really good. Geometry 3D... Um, at the moment is giving me a bit of an effect of judder a little bit like what i spoke about when i did the red dead videos when i turned left and right and up and down it was kind of like the screen was trying to catch up with itself and i guess that's to do with it rendering the the 3d viewpoints um the two 3d kind of your left and right eye basically overlaying and when you move around they kind of can't catch up with each other i think oh my god he's coming for me i think that's the only thing i could put it down to but yeah for me it doesn't look great the geometry at the moment um, but by all means try it out I said, I'll, I'll put a description of how to set this up yourself down in the comments so you can give it a go but uh, this wow, this is a lot better than the other day I do have a sense of scale now and depth just from the Z Adaptive um, which is really really <laughs> yeah this, this is taking this to another level oh my word I need to get under cover yeah it's really taking this to a, to a whole other level of oh 
awesome. I've also turned on um, Grunt Birthday Party, because why would you not turn on Grunt Birthday Party? I think if you play Halo without Grunt Birthday Party, there's probably something wrong with you. Um, not to alienate anyone that does play it without, but you know. Come on, guys. It's amazing. Not that I can get any headshots anymore. Yeah, honestly, I think just a couple of days after launch, this is probably the most impressive um, 3D VR hooked game I've played um, in quite some time. I feel like Vorpex is getting really good at the moment. I think like this, I don't know if it's just recently it's had a couple of big strides forward, but it feels like it's really come a long way in the past few weeks. Um, yeah, this is this is much better. Um, and again, I'm just playing with Z Adaptive. If you prefer geometry, please um, hook it and let me know what you think. I, I, I don't think it's great at the moment in this game. Obviously, it's not custom built for it. This is just the Canarian profile. Or if someone tries a different profile and gets a bit more success, so maybe the Alien Isolation profile will work a little better. Um, but this is the Canarian one and Geometry 3D for me anyway. Not great, but Z Adaptive is fantastic. Oh yeah, this is this is brilliant now. This is what I've always it's what I've always hoped and dreamed for. Oh, what's my cosh button? I'm really close to this guy. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Again, I haven't got it, I haven't tried it since um, that first video um, trying to get it to run with a controller. I did have a little bit of bizarre conflict when I played it that first time. Um, get out of here. Um, so I haven't tried since. Yeah, this is much better. I can kind of... It's hard to describe without showing you, but you can kind of see where the top of that cliff there kind of starts to curl over. Um, everything has a kind of a bit of depth now to it. And you can tell it's rendering in 3D. I can tell that as I move, I can see the depth between that that uh, structure there and then the cliff side behind it. Yeah, this is... Um, straight away, this is much better than it was just the other day. Um, and it's only been, what, two days? Uh, again, it's all thanks to the clever people online. I mean, um, thank you, Alien Pickle, um, for letting me know that this was possible. I did try this the other day, but as I said, I was being a massive idiot and I wasn't getting, um, I wasn't getting the attachment of the text file correct. And it's a bit frustrating that that's a loop you have to jump through, a hoop, sorry, you have to jump through because the Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass or PC Game Pass is fantastic. But in terms of VR and Vorpex, it locks away all its files in a little folder that you cannot access, which is frustrating. But again, there's a workaround here in the fact that you can create these text files, attach them to uh, Vorpex profiles that you make, and then Vorpex will do the rest of the legwork and it will bypass um, the text file and actually attach to the correct file. But as I said, you just got to make sure that you make make sure there isn't a txt extension on the end of that file because that will block it from doing its job. I'm really chuffed with this. This is fantastic. This is running <laughs> really well. Um, again, I'm just using Z Adaptive, but I'm not opposed to Z Adaptive. It worked really well for me in Red Dead, and I think it does. It, it goes a long way to giving a, a great sense of scale. There we go. I hope that was uh, useful to you guys. Hopefully, you've. Um, Got some use out of that. Why are these people stuck in this? Oh, I have to pick up this ordinance, do I? Is that, is that something that has to happen? What is it? Uh, e. Ah. Um, yeah, hopefully this was uh, useful to you and you can jump on now and get this all set up. This looks amazing. All right, let me just blow up a tank and then I'll sign off. I think there's a wraith around it somewhere. There we go. Oh, no. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Take that. Don't you dare come and get me. Oh, damn, he's still alive. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, God, that takes ages to recharge. I've got another one yet. Yeah. Nope, not yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can get in that wraith all you want, mate. It's about to get blown up. Awesome. Yeah, this is running really, really well. Hopefully, it's been uh, useful, guys. I'll put in the description an exact kind of uh, description of how you get this set up. Um, I know that sometimes I can ramble a little bit, so my descriptions in my voice might not be too clear. But I'll put it down in the uh, in the description of the video for you if you want to get it set up yourself. I am going to keep playing because finally now this is in 3D and I can enjoy it the way I wanted to. 
hope you've enjoyed guys if you did please leave me a like leave me a comment and hit subscribe because i love them i'm not even looking at you how rude hit subscribe thanks very much guys see you later bye <laughs>